Hello everybody, welcome back to the Medbros channel and today we're covering another unfortunate story. I know we've covered stories in the past where doctors and nurses and, and individuals in the healthcare field have done questionable things. So unfortunately today we have another story and this involves a TikTok star. So here we have the dancing TikTok doc. He's accused of sexual abuse in a $45 million lawsuit. So maybe you guys have heard of him. I have not ever come across this individual. He calls himself the TikTok doc. He's a doctor that does one of those dancing TikToks. His name is Jason Campbell. He used to post uplifting TikTok videos and apparently he's an anesthesia resident over at O. OHSU in Oregon. I actually know a couple of residents that I went to school with that are at OHSU. Shout out to you guys. I don't know if you have heard of all this going around your hospital, which you probably have. Apparently, he went around sending a social worker pornographic photos and lewd texts in the first three months of 2020. Damn. So as medical residents, we work very closely with social workers. They help out with family issues and arranging family discussion. And if that wasn't enough as a resident to be doing those kind of stupid questionable activities as a human in general, but especially as a resident, medical doctor resident, you've already gotten through this career and apparently we're supposed to be picking amazing people going through a rigorous application process, which uh, again, time and time again, has been shown to fail every time we cover one of these stories. Doesn't really stop there as the suit also reportedly alleges Campbell went into the office area of the social worker and forcibly pressed his erect penis against her from behind. Holy shit. So as usual in cases like this where you have a famous individual, maybe the hospital really liked him or for whatever reason, maybe they wanted to side with the doctor, who really knows what went on, but apparently the plaintiff complained to OHSU, so the, the social worker complained to OHSU about the behavior in April. And it was concluded he had violated its harassment policy, but no punishment was given out. And again, time and time again, we see things like this, just like in the other video I covered of the racist doctor down in Houston, Texas, where if you haven't seen it, insane case, go ahead and take a look at it on our channel. We did a video on it. But in a similar situation, things are not done appropriately. You have all these things in place and then you even have these programs put out, a resident appreciation day and wellness clinics and all this kind of weird stuff that they go ahead and waste all their time on. But when something is really right in front of them, nothing is ever usually done. The suit alleges that OHSU leaders helped bury the complaints and continue to glorify the dancing doctor's good press. Again, good press for this dancing doctor who has made it clear he goes to OHSU means good press for OHSU, which means good press for all of these people. So there's quite a few incentives to kind of bury this as usual. I mean, the list just continues to go on. Campbell sent a self-deleting photo on Instagram to the accuser showing a picture of his groin with an erection visible through his pants. And his excuse was, oh, that last picture somehow snapped while I was trying to send you a video explaining the crazy case I have. When push comes to shove, OHSU is going to respond and say they do not condone behavior as described in the lawsuit, blah, 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 blah. I'm not even going to bother reading their garbage. I mean, this is just another case of not only an individual being abused and the complaints not being heard and there being incentives to bury these complaints. And you have the additional component of somebody that you look up to as a TikTok star or whatever you see on social media. And the understanding that even though these people are wearing white coats, even though these people are on social media with a big following, that doesn't necessarily at all mean that there's somebody that's reputable, credible, trustworthy, and all these positive attributes that are just given to somebody when they're wearing a white coat on social media. Every single person online should be looked at with a very scrutinous eye. You should never glorify anybody and always be on the guard. Fortunately, we're finding that out more and more as individuals are getting fame a lot more easier and you're getting exposed to individuals that in the past might have been glorified and seen as amazing people, but they're really just being exposed as human beings. And this is uh, another despicable human being that has come to light and has been kind of under the ruse of this happy, go lucky TikTok doc that brightens up your day. And this is what all doctors are supposed to be, but under it is just another sexual abuse case. I was already planning to do a video on individuals that are online wearing white coats. And despite even having the credentials, you should be careful on who you follow. And I'll do more on that in a video coming up. And there's another TikToker that I want to address with that particular video. So stay tuned for that. But that's kind of the moral of the story is really have to watch out, especially in this day and age where anybody can really go ahead and get a following and be massive on social media. 
they're just human beings behind that that TikTok or that YouTube or whatever it is. So always just be cautious. That's going to be that, guys. I just wanted to cover that story. Just another horrible case and hopefully justice is served. Uh, it's a $45 million lawsuit. This guy's hopefully not going to be a resident uh, and, and move on as being a fully practicing doctor. The, I can't even imagine what someone like this would do with an anesthesia uh, qualification down the road. You have access to all sorts of dangerous medications and, and uh, you know, with the thoughts of sexual abuse combined with anesthesia, that's the worst specialty you would want to go together with sexual abuse because a lot of bad can happen from that. So luckily and hopefully, um, from what I understand, he's no longer a resident and hopefully will no longer ever be able to practice because that is a, a dangerous combination. There are no second chances for things like that, especially in medicine. That's going to be this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe if you want more videos like this. We cover any kind of news that goes on in the medical field. We are not scared to cover stories like this whatsoever. Uh, so make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below what you think about this scumbag, and we will see you guys in the next one.